what is up everybody it is your boy fry thank you once again for tuning into another video today i'm going to be showing you how to install third-party vsts into fl studio i'm going to be showing you two methods uh since you know there are two different ways to actually install vsts one will be via a, an actual installer which is a .exe file the other one will be via drag and drop which is .dll file uh, i'll make it nice and simple for you but let's get straight into it so as I said before, there are two ways to do it. We'll start off with the simpler way, um, and that's generally how you're going to be finding your VSTs online. So what we're going to be doing is we're going to be going to a cool site that we trust. Uh, this is the Analog Obsession page. Uh, it's a Patreon page that have a whole bunch of cool mixing-related VSTs, and I've been eyeing this one. Uh, so I'm going to click on this and just download that. So the first thing I need to realize is, uh, you know, what operating system am I using? Am I using a Windows-based computer or am I using a Mac? So as you can see right here, we've got the Windows and then we've got the Mac. VST and VST3 don't really make a difference from what I understand. So I've just always been going for VST2, which is this one right here. And if you're a Mac user, I would recommend using an audio units version right there. So you can use that on, on Logic Pro as well as on your FL Studio if you are using FL Studio. So I'm going to go ahead and just left click and download that and we will see we're actually downloading our file. So you can see the icon of this is interesting, right? So what it actually is, is we're using WinRAR to extract the file. What does that mean? And how does it apply to me? Well, for every file you download on the internet, once in a while, people are gonna uh, compress them so that you can easily download them. So I'm just gonna extract this into a simpler folder so we can, so we can actually see what's going on. And as you can see, I downloaded that one earlier just to test. But WinRAR is basically a software that uh, allows you to compress and then extract uh, VST files, right? So we can't just drag this into our VST folder and expect it to work because it won't. But what we can do is we can have, head over to WinRAR. Okay, so uh, let's just Google that so you can actually see. Download WinRAR and then uh, you can download this for um, your, you know, um, OS, you know, whichever one you're using, Windows or Mac, up to you. Generally, I would recommend obviously going for your 64-bit if you are using a 64-bit Windows computer. So that's cool. If you have that installed, you will be able to see what I'm about to do. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to right click, okay, and I'm going to click extract here. Now you only want to do that if you have dragged it into a folder that you can actually, you know, see what's going on. You know, there's not much going on in this uh, folder, so I can actually extract it without uh, losing the file that I'm going to extract. What you can also do is double click. And then you can actually see the contents inside, but you always get this error. I should probably buy WinRAR by now, but it is what it is for this tutorial. And you can actually drag this into your VST folder, but I don't like doing it like this. I quite like extracting the folder, so I'm gonna right click and then click extract here. And now we should be able to see the file which we actually need. So VST files are actually .dll files. And um, you know, these are simple to actually install. So what we can do is we can find our you know installation folder which is generally going to be on our this pc or you know my computer wherever and it's going to be on our local disk mac will be a bit different and we're going to click on program files and then i'm going to press the v key a few times since i want to go to vst plugins and this is where all of my vsts can be found what i'm going to do is i'm going to drag and drop that into there and now we can actually go into fl studio and then install that so what i'm going to do is i'm going to hover over to my mixer because it is a mixing uh, effects plugin that we actually downloaded so we want to open it up over here and i'm going to just open up um my vst menu on any of these slots and i'm going to click more plugins okay and what i'm going to do is i'm going to hover over down to the bottom of this effect plugin selector click manage plugins and now we can see that we opened up the fl studio plugin manager so there are a lot of things going on here we'll kind of keep it basic but basically over here you've got your installed vsts as you can see i have a thousand 360 a whole lot of vsts okay a lot of duplicate kind of stuff but yeah cool lots of fun and on the left we've got our um you know path folder okay so what you can do is this is the default one i don't recommend adding vsts into this folder i don't generally do that what i do is i like to add them over here naturally the more vsts you install via .exe method which you'll see just now you know it'll create these uh, folders for you but i generally like to go program files vst plugins and that's where we added our other one so we should be good to go we can also add custom folders if you've got an extra hard drive or something as you can see i could go i've got an extra vst folder and which is right there and it, it has been added to fl and i can load up vsts in that folder as well as long as fl studio knows where to search for them so now that we're ready to search we're just going to hit find plugins if you want to do a deep scan you can enable these too but it's going to take really long so you just want to do that and search 
and it'll take a second it has obviously found that so it was the steeq and there you go i've actually installed this before so uh i thought i hadn't tried it i've never tried it actually so we'll just for the sake of this video click on this yellow one when it is yellow it means that it has just been recognized by fl studio so there you go you want to just use this favorite this means favorite i just can't really drag to show you but it says favorite and um you know you can see the path folder over there but there you go we got to go so i'm going to close this for now and then i'm just going to see if it loads up by default all vsts should go to this effect folder i've rearranged my uh, vst folder so it's a bit different but it'll be the same it'll either load up on the bottom here or within the effects folder so we're going to look for that eq and there we go cool now we've got a cool eq We have a solid free VST installed. So you could obviously do that for all the other VSTs. What I'm also do is just for the sake of this video, I'm going to download another VST and I'm going to drag and drop it into a secondary folder or something like that. So what we'll do is we'll actually find the EXE VST download. I've been skimming for a, um, you know, piano plugin or something like that. So we'll find one right now on KVR Audio just to kind of show you um, what to do on KVR Audio if you want to download free VSTs on the site is to actually go on to products so you left click on there and then obviously you want to select your os over here in the left corner i'm going to go for windows i'm going to click vst i don't know what that is vst3 i'm just going to click vst and obviously i want an instrument plugin it is different to an effects plugin effects plugins are for the mixer instruments are for the generator section um uh, sound synthesis you know sound creation section so what i'm going to do is i'm going to click free as well since i want free vsts and we're going to submit search so we're good to go search and we should be should see some cool results i'm gonna find um a stringy vst sounds fun to me we can download that I'm not gonna be too serious on what we need you know we could spend years looking for vsts that we like uh, it's up to you really but what i'm gonna do is you know obviously cool we've got a windows plugin if you were a mac user you would want to find mac based plugins and we're just gonna click on the download section it should direct me to a new website we'll just check okay i'm gonna download via the uh, just direct download I guess should work and there we go as you can see we're downloading it is 44 megabytes that's a whole lot of data so we will be back all right we're back and we have downloaded a VST successfully so there we go uh, what I'm gonna do again is just drag and drop this into a folder which is easier for us to look at which is this one and what I'm gonna do is I'm just going to extract it I hope it is a okay there we go cool so that's pretty cool we've got our application which is our .exe installer which is a standard software installer you know how to install software i don't have to really run through that it's pretty cool that they do show you how to do it uh, obviously cool manually drag and drop um but we do have to actually install it this time around so we're going to install it we're just going to have the program data within it as you can see it said xee or exe and we're just going to click next i agree to sell our soul and then we are going to just install it i'm already too concerned about you know this stuff because it's probably adding presets and maybe the application data and that kind of thing so that's cool and we're going to install it and now that it is finished we are going to just drag and drop what we need into our vst folder so for the sake of this i'm going to add it into a secondary vst folder just so i can show you that you can actually add our vsts into it additional folders on separate hard drives and 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 have it actually work you do need a quite a fast hard drive i've got quite a nice hard drive installed for these to work on so there we go we're cool and i'm just going to make sure there aren't any other um ah doesn't really matter okay cool so we should be good to go now since this is a generator plugin i'm going to install it on the generator section so that's just the way fl studio works click more plugins again manage plugins and now we're gonna search right cool All right, and as you can see fl has found that so that's pretty cool mm -hmm. it seems to have found it it is recognized that it is a synth as well so we're good to go i'm gonna just favorite it and we should be able to load it up and it should have opened a synth should have added to there and there we go we have successfully installed another vst so that should load up and cool now we've got some cool stuff to play with man so let's just see cool right so yeah man now we now we can mess around so yeah
awesome stuff. So yeah, now I'm gonna continue messing around with some Deep House stuff. So hopefully you enjoyed the video. Hopefully you learned how to install VSTs. It's simple, it's sweet. Um, I can show you a different video on how to categorize your stuff. It's not that hard. But nonetheless, I won't keep you around too long. Hopefully you enjoyed yourself. Subscribe, like, all that stuff. I'll check you next time. Peace out.